Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I have a whole bunch of empties to get through with you. All of my empties from um, March 2021. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have this whole bag plus um, a basket. So, um... I am in my, my at-home office. If you notice, we have a little bit different of a backdrop here. I'm on my lunch and I thought I better just film this on my lunch because um, it's already the beginning of April. I did try to film this um, halfway through April and it didn't work out. So that's why I have so much stuff now. So this might be a little bit of a longer video. Okay, the first thing I have is a brick of Jade and Jasmine. Picked this up in the flash sale for $14. And this is a great scent. I actually went a little crazy and used half a brick. Um, I did I did it in my open concept. So my kitchen, living room, um, dining room. And then I did it in my bedroom and master bath at the same time. This is a really nice scent. It's um, like a citrus masculine scent. A clean citrus masculine scent. Almost like a clean aftershave with a little bit of that like lemon citrusy note but it's really really good um I do feel like I don't it didn't last as long as I remember it having lasted in the past when it was ascend of the month in January 2021 um so staying power wasn't super great for me but performance was really good this is a strong one so I'm happy to have picked that up and I still have half a brick uh, okay, I use the rest of Stargazing in my um, daughter's bedroom. They have um, a Winnie the Pooh honey pot and then a mini Cinderella uh, warmer that's on a tabletop base. So I, I don't remember how many cubes were in here. A few but I used it up in there and that's actually going right now it's it's really nice this was the January scent of the or um, July scent of the month last year and it's just a it's a nice bedroom scent it's kind of along the lines of like jammy time um, fuzzy blanket but like a, a deeper scent and I don't think this one has lavender um, so this is not in my club but I do have a few more bars and that's a nice one I do enjoy that um, let's see, in my bedroom, I did a bar of coconut cotton. Um, this is a lovely scent. I love this. Um, this was most recently available in the Bring Back My Bar in January that we just had. But this is like fresh, clean linen, like a fresh laundry with coconut. And it is done perfectly. Oh, so good. Um, this is, I put this in my club when I first started a club uh, a couple years ago, and, and it's still in there. I love this. Um, and I have a friend that she doesn't like fresh scents, but she really enjoys this one as well. So you really can't go wrong with this one. I would call it like a medium performer. Um, and then also in my bedroom slash master bath, I got through a bar of lavender violet. This is a beautiful scent. It's gorgeous. It is um, lavender and violet. And this was in the Life's the Garden collection that came out about a year ago. Um, this is the only one that I really fell in love with from that collection. And so it's been in my club ever since. It's about a medium performer, um, but it's a beautiful bedroom scent, just nice and relaxing. Um, I, have, I, I have it set up in my room right now where I can... Um, use a full bar. I have in my bedroom the Accord warmer, I believe is what it's called. It's the one, it's basically like three warmers in one. It has three element dishes, three element warmer dishes, uh, decent sized dishes. And then um, I have a mini warmer in my master bath. So I can do six in my bedroom and I could probably do more in that warmer just fine and then two in the bathroom. So that allows me to get through a whole bar and not have like, you know, partial bars hanging around. Um, that warmer's not available. If you guys ever run into it anywhere, um, 
I recommend that you give it a try because I, I really enjoy that warmer. But anyway, um, I did use up that lavender violet in there. Um, currently in my open concept, I have apple teeny splash going. So this is a green apple scent and this is new to the catalog this season. I'm usually not crazy about green apple scents um, compared to like other apple scents. I'm not a huge fan of green apple, but I wanted to give it a try. And I will say that it is a strong performer. This is really strong. Um, I'm on day three now, which is probably going to be the final day, but it's been doing great in my open concept. Um, I did notice a little bit of almost like a tree, like a pine tree kind of scent in here, which is kind of weird. Um, but it's mostly just the green apple. So if you like green apple scents, I think you would like that. It's a nice performer. Won't be a repurchase for me, but you know, I'm glad that I got to try it. Uh, also in my open concept, I don't know where the other bar went. Hmm. That's weird because I know I used two bars of, um, Hey Tiger Lily, um, in my open concept. I had used one bar in this room and it did really well. And so I did two in my open concept, which by the way, this was the scent of the month for March and I really enjoyed it. It was nice and it was a good performer. Uh, this is like a floral with a little bit of an orange citrus note. Mm, really, really pretty. You do have to like florals probably to enjoy this because it's slightly powdery, but I just, I think it's so pretty. Um, will I be putting it in my club? No, I do have several more bars that I'll be happy with, but that was a really nice scent. I, I did enjoy that. Um, I also tried a couple, well, I've tried this before, but, um, I used a couple cubes in my bathroom of Camu Camu. Um, this is kind of a spring summer classic for Scentsy. It's been around for a long time. Not sure what Camu Camu smells like in real life, but this is just a um, tropical fruit smell. So it's really nice. And I don't remember, um, I remember it being stronger than it performed for me this time. So I've had this about a year I'm trying to see if I can see the, the date. I don't know if it's cause it's getting older, 2021, 7, 2021. And it is, a, I don't know if this is going to show up on camera. See, it's a little sweaty. It's a little shiny there. So I probably do need to use it up this season. I'll probably mix it with something else. Um, but I do like to use this at least once a season. So that's Camu Camu. Um, in my girl's bedroom, like I said, they have the two warmers. So I did it, two different scents in each warmer. Um, one of them I did Toasted Marshmallow which is, is a very strong, sweet, toasted marshmallow, smoky scent. <laughs> it's so, so good. Oh, love it. This is my um, four-year-old's favorite scent. She absolutely adores this. So I did that in one warmer, and then in the other warmer, I did Dumbo Circus Parade. And if you haven't tried this, it is still available as a limited time offer. It just got re-released, and it's wonderful. Um, this is one of my favorite scents. It just makes me happy. Literally makes me in a happy mood when I smell it. Um, it's a tropical fruity, so it's it's clementine and um, vanilla, and it's just, it's so fun. I love this. So these are both in my club, but you can get Dumbo right now. Um, so my, as my four-year-old pointed out, and she actually said this she said um the toasted marshmallow is taking over the dumbo and it was this uh overpowered dumbo in their room so i i wouldn't do that again um because toasted marshmallow is so strong but they're both really good on their own and i think toasted marshmallow would be a good uh, mixer as like a bakery but it is so strong that you do kind of have to be careful that it doesn't overtake other scents Um, I wanted to test out the difference between a new release this season, which is Shoreline Drive, and one that came out last year, which is Sand Swept. 
I love Sand Swift. It was in my club till it came back. Um, but it is somewhat of a lighter scent. And this is actually in the citrus category, Sand Swept is. It has um, pink, pink lemon, and then um, like the water, uh, aquatic note, and kind of a mineral note. I think it's supposed to be like ocean waves um, splashing on the rocks, but it actually does have that mineral note in here. And it is so good. I love this scent. Mm, but it is uh, about a medium performer. So I wanted to compare it to the new one, Shoreline Drive. A lot of people have said that they're pretty similar. Uh, so I did Sand Swept in my bathroom and a full bar of Shoreline Drive in my open concept. Shoreline Drive is open concept worthy. Um, it's not bad, but I don't like it as much as I like Sand Swept. Shoreline Drive... Um, it doesn't have that citrus note. It's in the fresh category, but it's got that aquatic note quite heavy in it. And um, a lot of Scentsy's aquatic notes I'm starting to discover I'm not super crazy about. Um, I mean, it kind of depends. Like ocean, I love ocean. Um, but like the aquatic note in this or like in Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, it's just not my, my favorite. So... Um, I don't know. I may purchase this again, but it's not club worthy to me. And Sand Swept is, is much better in my opinion. They are different. Uh, they're similar, but different. And for me, Sand Swept, um, comes out on top in terms of scent appeal. All right. Every time I get off, um, a brand of a wax other than Scentsy, just like at the store, 99.9% .9 of the time I regret it. And this was no different. Um, this was at Michael's and it was on sale for $2.99 and it is Ashland brand Honey Pear. So I picked this up because I love pear scents and since he doesn't have a whole lot of pear scents and it does smell good on cold. Just a sweet pear scent. But the performance was not good. Um, it's this hard wax hard to break apart. Um, I could only fit one cube of it in my bathroom mini warmer and the performance just wasn't there. It was pretty minimal and not long lasting. So yeah, that wasn't, I wasn't impressed with that. And I, I should know better by now. I really should. Anyway, um, I got through two pods of lemon drizzle cake. This was in the Easter collection. Uh, this is my favorite scent out of the three scents released in the Easter collection. I smelled them all on cold and wax, but this is the only one that I've used. And I only got it in pods. And it's a really nice lemon scent. In the pods, I don't get um, that uh, lilac. Is it lilac? No, I think it has lilac in it lilac sugar. Don't get that. I pretty much just get lemon. So it was really nice, but I don't know that it's unique enough to um, stock up on or put in my club or anything. I, I think I could get the same close enough effect with like squeeze a day or something like that. But it was nice. I did enjoy it. I had it go into my air purifier um, and it actually did really well in there. And then I moved it to um, my hallway. And then in my hallway right now, I have Best Berry going. Um, I picked that up in the flash sale. This was Valentine's Day collection last year, 2021. And it's just like a basic berry scent. Um, it's nice, but it doesn't, you know, rock my world or anything. Um, but having fun with that. And, and my two youngest daughters, they really like the design on the pods. I keep taking them out and looking at the design because that design is on this sticker part on the pods. So that's my basket. That was the little part. Now we have this bad boy here. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just going to start grabbing and Unfortunately, it's not like, you know, organized by wax and non-wax or anything like that. It's just all in here. Um, used up uh, Scent Soft in Aloe Water and Cucumber. Um, 
I picked this up when when it was discontinuing at the end of last season um, because I thought it would be a nice universal scent soft that would go with other um, laundry system scents. So I, I did like this and um, I'm going to save the pump to use with my um, dish soap, of course. Got through a counter clean in winterberry apple tea. This was in the um, holiday collection, I believe. And it's really nice. It's it's um just a winter tea with berries, a slight slight um, spice note. You can see there's cinnamon sticks on here in the picture, but I don't like cinnamon in incense for the most part. And I do really like winterberry apple tea. So it's not a strong spice note. Um, let's see here. Fragrance flowers. Got through a couple of these. This was winterberry apple tea. And this thing went forever and ever and ever. I got this like the beginning of fall last year and had it at my front door and it lasted forever. And it was really strong for a fragrance flower. This is probably one of the stronger fragrance flowers I've had. Um, another one that I had that was not so strong was Cozy Cardigan. It didn't perform great in my house. I tried it in different places. What's funny is I got the same Cozy Cardigan fragrance flower for my grandma and she lives in an apartment and she had it in her bathroom and it did great. And I mean, you could smell it like in the hallway, the common hallway outside of her apartment. So I don't know what it was, the, the airflow ventilation, the environment, you know, it just kind of goes to show that different things can perform different depending on so many factors that come into play. But um, personally, I probably wouldn't repurchase that one again because in my home it didn't do that great. So speaking of Cozy Cardigan, I have a scent pack that I put in my purse. I switched out my purse for spring and I um, switched out the scent pack. This is the second time I've done a scent pack in there. And I put Cozy Cardigan in there because I also have a Cozy Cardigan um, body spray in there that I carry around. And so that way they kind of matched. Um, I actually got that idea from Karen Rosa of putting scent packs in your um, purse, and I really like it. Um, let's see here. I picked up, this is um, from the new catalog, picked up some oil in Mellow, Mellow, Melon Water and Aloe. And this is really nice. I was a little concerned that it wouldn't be strong enough. Um, but I did it in this room and it was really strong to where I'm going to do it in my open concept next. Um, it's just a clean, fresh scent. I actually get a little bit of like a mint note in there, but I really like that. And I probably would repurchase that. Um, what did I use this for? Oh, scent circle. Dumbo Circus Parade. So as part of the limited time offer with the Dumbo collection right now, they have come out with some adorable um, scent circles for Dumbo that are shaped like Dumbo in the clouds. And um, I picked up three of those. And so I have one in my car right now and it's really nice. Good performer in there. Um, I guess we'll just, oh, well, here's some pods. Clean Breeze, this is in my, um, laundry room right now. I love this scent. Just fresh, clean laundry. I definitely prefer this over um, clothesline because it doesn't have like any of the like sharp floral notes. It's just fresh, clean laundry. It's awesome. Um, and my two-year-old, actually she just turned three. So I have a three-year-old and a four-year-old for the next couple months. But my youngest, my three-year-old, she um, keeps commenting that the laundry room smells good. So I would repurchase that. Um, so in my um, purse, the scent pack that I had before, the first scent pack that I ever did in my purse was Halloween Town. Um, and this lasted since last fall. Um, this is a really nice scent. It's kind of similar to um, 
um, winter berry apple tea, but it's just deep, deep berries with like a cedar note. Really, really nice scent for fall. And um, so I had that in there. That was really nice. Um, if you guys have not checked out the YouTube channel for, um, her name's Brandy, and she does, her channel's called Bars and Bricks with Brandy, I believe is what her channel is. Pretty sure. She's amazing. I love her. She's so great. And um, she had a little hack of what you, uh, you can use scent packs for, which scent packs, you know, I they're originally were kind of designed, I believe, to go in our buddies, but you can use them for anything. It's not like wax or pods where you have, you know, specific things that you, systems that you use them with. You can put these anywhere, under your sink, um, in your dresser drawer, just hanging in the room. I used to do that in, in the nursery when we had the nursery. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. As long as there's some place to hang it or even just set it, you know, that you can put it anywhere. So anyway, Brandy has a video um, where she shows how you can put a scent pack in your vacuum cleaner. Yes, your vacuum cleaner. And <laughs> it is life changing. I have never been so excited to vacuum. <laughs> It is awesome. So go check that video out if you haven't. But um, basically you put it um, where the filter goes. Uh, so it lays flat underneath the filter. And it doesn't affect performance of your vacuum or anything. At least mine. I guess I can't speak for everyone. And I'm not, you know, saying that it's going to be totally safe to use it in your vacuum. It kind of probably depends on how your vacuum is set up and everything. But I put it in there um, with my, where the air filter is and, or the filter, and it's amazing. It is awesome. I did caramel apple craze just because I was like, um, I, I wasn't sure how the performance would be, so I didn't want to use um, like one of my fresh scents that I was going to save for something else. But next time I will because um, it works great. So super excited for that hack. Like I said, life changing. My, my vacuum will always have scent in it from now on. So thank you, Brandy. You're awesome. Okay. Um, in my office last week, I did a bar of pina colada cha-cha because I had this from last summer and it was kind of greasy. Um, and it did awesome in here. And actually I left it on, on in my element warmers over the weekend and it just, it, lasted all weekend too. So this is just um, a pina colada. It's pineapple, coconut, wonderful summer, summer scent. It's great. Uh, well, randomly more pods here. Um, vanilla mint. I had these in my laundry room before the clean breeze. I picked these up in clearance. And so I, I hope it's not going away in pods. I love this scent. Um, my four-year-old so her number one favorite scent is vanilla, um, I mean, is toasted marshmallow, and her number two is vanilla mint. She loves this too. And I took a gamble, and I didn't put it in my club this time, and so fingers crossed that it comes back. The bar wasn't in clearance, only some of the other stuff, so hopefully at least the bar comes back. And I did stock up on that a little bit. Uh, in so, wait, do you have any more pods here? Um, oh, here's the package for the lemon drizzle cake, but uh, I had Bonfire Beach in my um, air purifier. This is a really good value pod. You really get um, the bang for your buck on those because it's strong and it's very long lasting. And, you know, sometimes with the air purifier, you do need a stronger scented pod. Um, and Bonfire Beach is a really good one for that. So I really recommend that Bonfire Beach um, if you're looking for a good value for your money with the pods. Random pod of jammy time. Not sure where this came from. When I smell it, I do smell a little bit of fragrance still, but um, not when it was going. So um, I have a couple pods that I had used up of Fiji Flower. 
These were just kind of left over from a trip that we took in February where I traveled with these and they had a little bit of scent left in them. So I, I had them in my hallway and this is a wonderful scent. This was in the um, summer collection last year. So it's like a nice floral with a little bit of apple. It's not powdery. It's, it's one of my favorite florals. I love it. So speaking of florals, um, you want to talk about just a straight up floral scent, lilacs and violets. Um, or as I said in a previous video, lilacs and violets, but that's not what it's called. It's violets. <laughs> and, uh, this is a powerhouse in pods, powerhouse. I had one pod in my car when I, um, had one into town for an appointment and holy cow, it was super strong. And so, um, I'm not in my car too much these days. So I decided to put both pods in my air purifier and this is like the strongest scent that I've smelled in pods. It is strong and it's still going in my um, air purifier, just like a, like a charm. So I do like this scent this time of year. Um, I especially like it when the lilacs start blooming around here. I love the smell of fresh lilacs and, and the looks. I love everything about them. Um, and so I do have a few bars of this on hand um, for when that time of year comes around. And now I have the pods too. And I would purchase these again. Uh, you do have to like floral because it kind of has that powdery floral scent. But that is really, really nice. I don't even know where I'm putting stuff. It's just like random right now. Mystery Man. I think this was in my husband's um, mini fan diffuser in his car, and this is out of scent. But this is just, it's just like a, it's in the woods category, but it's like a fresh masculine scent, like kind of like a cologne scent. Um, I think this got something sticky on it, but Dryer Discs and Ocean, I finished up that pack. I showed you guys the um, Dryer Disc already. These are no longer available. I got these in a clearance, and... I think it says on it that they last, what? I must have tore off that part. I don't know. But it lasts a lot longer for me than they say they do. And you get two um, two of them in a pack. So it's a pretty good deal. I Ocean is like my favorite laundry scent. If that ever comes back in laundry, I'm going to just stock up, stock up, stock up. Um, it would probably be Ocean would be my number one. Honeymoon Hideaway would be my number two. And then my number three, and none of these are available anymore. Number three would be Fiji Flower. So this was, like I said, in the summer collection. It's amazing in laundry. And these little guys sat in clearance for quite a while. And so I got like four of them. And I have like two and a half left. But oh, this is beautiful in laundry. And um, really good performer. Has nice staying power in laundry as well on your clothes. Are you ready for um, bars yet here? More bars? No, not quite. Um, <laughs> here's the Mystery Man pack from my husband's car. But I had some um, Bright Side or Life pods that had a little bit of life left in them. And so I finished those up in my laundry room. That was another one that my uh, three-year-old commented on that she liked. It's nice for the fall. It's not my favorite, but I know a lot of people love it, so... It was nice to just get through it. Um, geez, why do I have so many pods? <laughs> I feel like this is an old container that I have been done with the Berry Blast for quite a while. But um, in there I had some pineapple coconut vanilla pods that I had picked up a while ago in clearance. Um, right now this scent is only available in body, but it is coming back in the next Bring Back My Bar in Wax. And it's a really nice scent. It's amazing in body. It's kind of a, a lighter performer, maybe a medium or so in wax. And the pods were pretty light too. But it's really pretty. Pineapple, coconut, vanilla, and blue fig. Or blue fig leaf. Um, so that was good. I had a lot of pods that I just had a little bit of scent left in them that I was like, okay, I need to just go ahead and get through these. Um, so it's kind of more than usual. I have a box here of, is this just a clear bulb? I think this is just a clear bulb that 
yeah. I know I had a mini green one that I put in a warmer for St. Patrick's Day, but this looks like this was just a, a mini clear one. So anyway, not mini, 20 watt, 20 watt. So they're pretty petite still, but they're bigger than the 15 watt ones. Whew, okay. Um, fragrance flower in blue agave and melon. This was this and, um, the winter bear apple tea are like the strongest fragrance flowers that I've had. Um, this one does tend to go through the oil at a much faster rate. Uh, this was a scent from last year's summer collection and it's really, really nice. And I have this going right now in my entryway. I always like to have a fragrance flower there because there's no outlet. This is a really good performer. Really like that one. Okay, I think we're um, all pretty much down to wax here. In my car, I had, um, from our trip in February, um, a car bar in Coast, not Coast, um, Strawberry and Rock Melon. This is a great performer. Um, it's great in wax. It's great in car bars. Love it. It's no longer available. I got this in um, clearance, but um, it was most recently available in wax as part of the international collection about a year ago. Well, no, it's probably been longer than that. About a year and a half ago that we had that. Anywho, this is a really nice, strong, long-lasting scent. Still has some scent in it, so I'll probably hang this like in a closet or something. Okay, I think we have mostly bars left here. Welcome summer. Um, I always think of Melissa Johnson when I warm this because I know she loves this scent. This was a scent of the month in um, June of 2020, I believe. And it's um, melon floral. Really, really good. Really pretty. Um, I know it was kind of hit or miss when it came out, but um, great. And a strong performer. So I have it going right now in my like family room area down here in the basement. But... Um, it was overtaking a different scent that I had in here, so I had to turn it off, but today I have it back on. So it's strong, long lasting, open concept worthy. Um, if this ever shows up in clearance, I feel like it was just in a flash sale actually. Yeah, I think it was. Hopefully, um, you picked up a bar and were able to try it because it's a good one. Aloe vera and ivy. This is another one that... Um, was in the flash sale recently and I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't get another bar. Um, when it showed up in the flash sale, I was actually warming it in here at the time and it's very pleasant. I really like it. It has, um, a watery melon note. So not watermelon, but watery melon and, um, like the freshness of the ivy and then the sweetness of the melon. Oh, so good. It's probably a medium performer. Uh, but it did really well in this small space. And so I really, really like this one. I think I have three bars left of it. Um, but that was a nice one. Almost put that in my club when it left. It was in the catalog for one season um, after it was the end of the month. Cashmere Pear. This was in the Bring Back My Bar in uh, last winter. So like December 2020. Um, this is such a beautiful scent. It's the sweet pear. It's the same kind of pear as, um, like honey pear and cider, that kind of pear note with the kind of sensual cashmere scent. Oh, it is so good. I am in love with this. So this was in my bedroom. I went through a whole bar, bedroom, bathroom. Very nice. I'm trying to like, uh, okay. Summer Moonlight, I used a whole bar of this in here and which is a small area. What you're able to see on camera here is like half the room or more. So it's a small area and this, it was nice, but it's not that strong of a performer. Yeah, I could smell it in here, but I would never put it in an open concept. It would never survive in my open concept. I'll probably try it in my bathroom. I think I have another bar, 
I would repurchase it because it is very nice on scent appeal. It's um, fruity, um, but it also, so it has, I don't remember all the notes. It's got like fruit notes, um, woodsy notes for the base notes, and then I think like maybe a vanilla note, but it's really nice. It reminds me of a body care scent. Like this would be really nice in body care. With a name like Summer Moonlight, I'm guessing it's not going to stick around next season. Um, but it would be great if they ever came out with it in body. I, I would totally buy that. So Summer Moonlight, I did really like it. It's just not super strong. Speaking of ocean, went through a bar of ocean in here. And I love this. It's just... It's so fresh. It is aquatic, but to me, it's it's pretty authentic. It's a more authentic, I mean, it's like, I, I guess I don't know, like, you know, water. That's kind of hard to describe a smell of water, but it's very clean and just, I like it so much better than a lot of the aquatic scents that since he does now. But um, this is an older scent. It was in the Bring Back My Bar last June. And it's awesome. Got through two cubes of Daydream Oasis. This is a new scent um, this season, and this is very light. It's probably the latest one that, of the new releases. Um, so if you're sensitive to smells, strong scents, you probably would like this. But for me, it's just too light. I did two cubes in my bathroom. I'm gonna let this cure for a little bit and see if it gets any stronger. Um, but if you're the type of person that likes like those lighter scents, like iridescent pearl, stuff like that, you would probably really like this. It's nice, it's just not strong enough. I like my scents very strong, so. Um, I did, I think there's another one of these somewhere in here. Wait, is that it? Ruby Nectarine. I did a bar in here and then I did a bar in the other room downstairs and this is the scent of the month for the current month of April and it's nice it is very nice it's apple with fresh nectarine and it is a very authentic fresh nectarine like it reminds me of when you bite into it and you know you have like the the stringy part of it that's what this smells like really really nice for spring but I wish it was a little bit stronger um I would not put this in my open concept even with two bars I feel like it would kind of be a waste uh so I don't think I'll put this in my club because um it I feel like you know I like peach nectarine scents but it's it's just not strong enough um if you're looking for something stronger plumeria peach would be the way to go but that has that floral note where this is more authentic, just the fruit note of the um, tangerine. I mean, <laughs> nectarine. So anyway, that is a very pretty scent though. And it's been getting a lot of great reviews out there. Use two cubes of the new scent, pineapple mango. This is nice. It's mostly mango. Um, but I did this in my bathroom and I felt like it was a decent performer. And I want to mix this with, um, next time I'm going to try mixing it. Well, you could probably mix it with a lot of things. Um, I think I want to mix it with cocoa for coconuts, though, which I also tried, and that's in here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> finished up a brick of Luna. Well, didn't completely finish it. I think I have two brick cubes left, but I just put those in a baggie so I could just get rid of this clamshell. Um... I got this in Scentsy Club. You can get it in Scentsy Club. This is a classic Scentsy scent available year round. It's the only floral that usually makes it through the winter season, but this is a really pretty scent. Um, it's not that strong of a performer, probably about a medium performer, but you could really put it in any area of your house. And it's a very universal scent that most people are going to like and not be offended by. Um, I do want to try mixing it. So I know um, Brandy has said that it's a very good mixer and she recommended mixing it with satin sheets. 
So that is what I'm going to do next with this, with the um, remaining wax that I have, is I'm gonna try mixing it with satin sheets. Sugared strawberry. Okay, uh, this is just a very sweet, not authentic, <laughs> but candied strawberry scent. Um, and what's funny is when I did this in my girl's bedroom, like last year, I didn't really like it. It was too sweet and coying almost. But um, I put a, I recently put a warmer in my garage and this did really great out there. I really liked it in the garage. Um, I did three cubes. So I have a warmer that does not perform very well. It is an eight watt element warmer and it is the Peace and Prosperity warmer. That was out a couple seasons ago. Um, it's like an artichoke um, shape and it's really pretty, but it has a lid. And so I, I always have the lid off of it. I don't even have the lid with it right now. Um, even with the lid off, it doesn't perform great, but it's, it's an element warmer. So it's steady, steady release of scent and it doesn't get very hot. It, it doesn't get hot. It gets slightly warm where I feel comfortable leaving it going in my garage 24 seven. And, um, it's been nice having it out there. The dish only holds three cubes, has a three on the bottom, but um, that's been doing well. I've been trying different scents out there, so I tried a few this month, and this was the second one I tried in there. I did like it. When the weather was colder, the wax wouldn't even melt all the way, um, like, throughout the day. But now that we're warming up, it's melting better and performing a little better out there. So I think I found a good zone for this. Um, I do also want to try to mix this with a lemon scent to make like a strawberry lemonade. I might do that with the rest of these cubes. Sun soap petals. I don't even remember. Oh, I warmed this in um, the other room downstairs in the basement, the family room area. And I love this scent. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. And that's why it was in my club until it came back this season. It is, um, it's not a powdery floral, but it has a sweet note um, it has a current note in it and I think that might be what a lot of people don't like um what else is in there there's like a water mint or something but I just get a nice floral that I really really enjoy and um on cold I like this better than uh here come the sunflowers but haven't actually warmed that one. That's on my bucket list this season. But I really, really like um, Sun Soaked Petals. One of the oddballs that love that one. Summer Soleil is what I have going right now in here. And this is the one that I was saying was, I have a whole bar going in here and it was overpowered by like three or four cubes of Welcome Summer in the other room down the hallway. Um, Cause Welcome Summer is very strong and this one is pretty light. Summer Soleil, it's very pretty, but it's very light. So it didn't go in my club. I think I have one more bar after this. Um, so this was last summer, bring back my bar last June. But it's it's so pretty. It's um, marsh. It has marshmallow and pineapple, vanilla. I don't know, kind of like just a sweet, um, tropical, summery scent, but on the lighter side. Paradise Petals. Okay, I did this in my girl's room, um, four cubes, and I was pleasantly surprised with this. It performed a lot better than I thought it would. Um, and it reminded me of, what is it, Spring, Spring Forward, which is in my club. That's a pretty unique floral that has this distinct note in it. This, I get a little bit of that. This is really nice. This is a floral um, new to the catalog this season and I'm trying to play around with it to see if I like it better than Spring Forward because then I could take that out of my club which I think might be in here somewhere. Um, well I guess if it is we'll talk about it when, when we get to it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna play around with this and it may, I may end up just being able to, you know, stock up on this one at the end of this season if it doesn't stay around and then take that other one out of my club. 
So I actually thought this performed a lot better than I thought it would. And I would purchase this again. I like florals, um, but even, I mean, it's not a real powdery floral. So Paradise Petals. Okay, so the first um, bar that I warmed in my um, garage was two cubes of Vitamin I Inhale from the um, All Is Well collection. I did two cubes in my bathroom and I didn't really like it because it's just too green. I used to really like green scents and now I'm kind of, I don't like them as much as I did before. Um, but this is like really strong green, like uh, Irish Spring type scent. And so I thought, well, I'll do this in my bathroom. Ugh, yeah, it, it's got that soapy note to it. I mean, I I, I I thought I would do it in the garage, which is a good place for it um, since it wasn't my favorite. That's probably where I'll use the rest of this. Plus, my husband works out there a lot, and he actually really likes this scent. He's an Irish Spring uh, kind of diehard, so... And then, right now out there, this is the best one I've had out there yet. My love, Ghostly Greetings. Love this scent so much. Mm, this is in my club. This was the September 2020 scent of the month. It has patchouli, divana flower, uh, why do I think maybe a tobacco note? Maybe not. Patchouli, um, plum, I can't think of all the notes right now, but um, it's just like a deep, berry scent. It's a very deep scent. So good though. And this is obviously more of a fall scent, ghostly greetings, but I warm it year round. I love it. And I have a room spray of it out there that I'm using with this too. And it is performing wonderfully. Um, as I knew it would, because it's ghostly greetings. And look at the color. So pretty. Went through a bar of pink rhubarb sugar. Um, this is a new release this season. This might be my favorite of the new releases. I really, really like this one. Um, it's, mm, it's like a tart berry. Oh, that is so good. If you like um, rainbow sherbet, you'll probably like this because it kind of reminds me of rainbow sherbet. And it almost has a little bit of like a bubbly note to it. A little bit of effervescence. Really good, really good performer too. This has been pretty popular, so hopefully it'll stick around till next season. If not, this is probably one that I would put in my club because it's that good. I mean, I love scents like if you like, um, let's like Monsters Inc., um, Alice in Wonderland, we're all mad here. Like I said, Rainbow Sherbert. Those are kind of all um, scents that I think you would like this if you like any of those. That is a win for me all the way, all day long. Used up, I finished this up in my bathroom, um, my master bath, an off-brand wax. Um, the brand is The Little Cottage, and Sandalwood and Jasmine is the scent. I got this at Joann's um, a couple summers ago, and it actually, for what it is, wasn't too bad. Um, Sandal and Jasmine, it's a nice scent, and I like the consistency. This must have been a soy wax, because it wasn't super hard. Um, but after a little while, maybe day two or so, it got that waxy note where it just smelled like wax. So um, I wouldn't repurchase that. I actually think I have one more bar of this, but yeah. Okay, my favorite from the, um, and actually I think every, most everyone's favorite from the All Is Well collection is Vitamin R for Relax. Oh, talk about a beautiful scent. Mm, it's got amber, love amber. Um, and it's like a deeper amber. Um, it reminds me a lot of, what is that one that Bath & Body Works used to have? I don't know if they still have it. Oh, what was that amber one? Um, sensual amber, I think is what it was called. This reminds me a lot of that. Um, beautiful for the bedroom. So I have one more bar on hand and then I threw it in my club and 
and I'm my bi-monthly club. So I need to figure out by May if I'm going to keep it in there or not because it's no longer available to purchase. Um, this, I just wished it was a little bit stronger. So I am going to see if my other barter, you know, as it sits and cures, if it um, gets a little stronger. But absolutely beautiful, cozy, sensual scent. Perfect for the bedroom. Finished up rainbows and butterflies. Um, I don't remember if we finished this in Maddie's room or the other girl's room. I definitely like this better mixed. Um, Melissa Johnson suggested mixing it with Ursula, and that was a good combo. Um, but as far as on its own, it's, it's too sweet for me. It's kind of like a artificial, kind of like a coin sweet smell. And so I, I just wanted to finish it up. In my bathroom, up, um, I used two cubes of coconuts for coconuts. That was, that was my first time trying it. And I really like this. It's like a suntan coconut smell. It does have um, a floral note in it. It's not straight coconut, but it's nice. I really like it. What's funny is it wasn't very strong to my nose in my bathroom, but my friend... Um, said it was super, super strong in her basement. It was too strong for her. So she gave me the rest of hers. So I'm going to play around with that. that. But these are the two that I actually want to mix together. Coconut for coconuts and pineapple mango. I think those would be really nice mixed together. Um, and I like the how they made it the colors of a coconut. You have the brown, like the outside of the coconut, and then the, the inside color. Mm, so good. Okay. Maddie finished up in her room um, the remainder of a bar of Stitch Experiment 626. Um, this relaunched about a year ago um, and it came out with the Angel Bar, Angel Experiment 624. Um, and this one is probably the better of the two. They're both nice. This is um, like a tropical aquatic scent but as she warmed this I liked it more and more I think like day two I liked it more than than the first day and it actually did pretty well so I, I do enjoy this um I didn't put it in my club but it is a really nice scent and I know a lot of people love that one okay <laughs> some of the red bars that Scentsy has don't have a very long shelf life for me anyway in my experience and they get goopy quick and one of my favorite bars is one of those Marvel 9 Realms look at this like seriously that that's pretty that's really bad um so I had to use it up because it was getting really gunky as you can see um so I wouldn't really recommend stocking up on this um I have a one or two bars left but from now on I'll just order it one at a time or if it ever went away I'd put it I would put it in my club uh, lavender lightning not sure what that means but it's a, a type of lavender um, lime I don't remember what else but it's fresh and it's kind of a manly scent but it's like a youthful masculine scent fresh very fresh youthful masculine and it is a great performer, open concept worthy. Um, it's definitely worth that extra 50 cents that you pay for the um, licensed bars. Um, I know there's been some chatter about licensed bars or Disney bars not being super great performers, which I disagree with that. I think it's like they're like any other bars where you have different levels of intensity, but this one is a very strong one. Um, love it. It's great in pods, too. Magnolia Linen. I did a whole bar of this on my open concept, and it was strong, strong, strong. This is a very strong scent. Um, it is a floral, a powdery floral with fresh linen laundry note. So, great performer in the bar. Um, it's also a great performer in laundry. I have it. Actually, I have it going right now in laundry. Um, I think I had just given like a cube to my friend is why I had another bar open of pink rhubarb sugar. And then in my living room, 
once again, a red goopy bar that needed to be used was um, Star Wars Dark Side, the Force Dark Side. And look at that. Gross. I always call this bar Darth, the Darth bar, even though like this one has a Stormtrooper on it. Some of them, they have different um, designs on the clamshells. I think there's like three of them. And Darth Vader is one of them. So I always call this, you know, Darth. But um, so this is a dark side. This is a really nice masculine scent. Um, it's got vetiver in it. Love, love, love vetiver. So, um, and it's a really good performer. I did it in my open concept with um, all throughout. But then in a couple warmers, I mixed the light side with it. The light side of the force is um, a pretty blue wax and it's a very fresh, strong, strong smell. Very fresh. It reminds me of um, coral waters, but just amped up in intensity. And um, they were kind of, I mean, they're great on their own, but they were kind of designed to be melted together. And then they make um, what Sensi calls balance in the force and like um, the Sensi purple color. So this one I do like better mixed. Um, this one is good either way. And these are actually coming back this month in April. Normally, Sensi releases um, Star Wars stuff every year on May the 4th. Uh, you know, because Star Wars. But this year they decided they're going to release the Star Wars stuff in April so that you will have it all on May the 4th. And you can celebrate on May the 4th and already have your Star Wars stuff. There's going to be some really exciting Star Wars items coming out, including um, new buddies and stuff. So stay tuned for that later this month. White Amber Antique is a new release. Uh, this is probably my second favorite of the new releases. If you guys remember um, Mah Mahogany and Teakwood from Bath and Body Works, which I'm not sure if they still have that or not. Maybe it was White Barn. Um, this is very similar to that, but it's, um, so it's woodsy, masculine, um, once again, has that amber note in it. And then the teak wood, really, really nice. Um, good for the bedroom, but it's a really nice performer. I think I would probably put this in my open concept and I think it would do okay. I have one or two more bars, so I may try that. Um, in the girls' room, once we finally got their Cinderella mini warmer set up on the um, base, the tabletop base, we put in two cubes of Cinderella. Um, they wanted to wait to try it till they had their Cinderella warmer. And I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would, and the girls liked it. It's very florally, and it is a little bit um, powdery. So I can see, like, uh, if you are sensitive to florals where they cause headaches, I think this could probably be one that could do that. It's really nice though. Um, not club worthy for me. There's other florals that I think are, are better, but I did like it and um, I'll be happy to use the rest of this and so will the girls. And I mean, how cute is that? It's really cute. This has um, gardenia in it. Okay, I'm running out of room here. Uh, also in the garage, I did a mixture of two cubes of eucalyptus wreath, which is a very fresh eucalyptus uh, herbal, not medicinal, herbal. Love this. It's in my club. Number five bestseller last season, eucalyptus wreath. But I did two cubes of this to one cube of around the campfire, um, which is was available last season. And this just smells like campfire embers. Uh, it's, it, yeah, it's smoky, but not smoky in the way of bonfire beach or toasted marshmallow. More of like you've poured water on the fire and then that smoke that comes up when you pour the water on. Yeah, so eh, it's okay. Um, that's why I wanted to use it as a mixer. And this one's pretty strong on its own, So, but I did two cubes of this eucalyptus wreath to one cube around the campfire. And the round the campfire completely overtook it. And um, it was not a good thing. And it made this really icky color too. Um, let me show you. Because I saved the cotton cleanup to reuse. So 
this is the color that it was. Eh, not impressive. I've really cut down on my cotton cleanup usage. Um, cotton cleanups went up in price, as everyone knows, because there's like a big cotton shortage. And so I've been, um, I still use them, but like in my open concept, what I've been doing is, because I have like nine warmers out there total, so um, I'll turn them all on from cold. Will be cold, turn them on, set a timer for seven minutes, and then start going around and just popping it out with my finger. And that's actually worked really well. And it's helped me to cut down on cotton cleanups, which are still amazing, but I just need to be, you know, more conservative with them. Um, so yeah, that mixture didn't work out the way I had wanted it to. If you guys have any good suggestions of things to mix with around the campfire, please let me know down below. I, I would be very interested in hearing some different options uh, for that as a mixer. Okay, we have one more item and then we have um, some testers really quick here and we're at an hour, so I guess we better hurry. Um, Scentsy Soak and Shimmer. I have a little bit left of this in a mason jar in my bathroom. This is really, really nice. Um, when Maddie and I first smelled it when we got it, we're like, oh, well, that smells kind of plasticky. And I think we were just smelling the packaging because I don't get that now with it. It is a little off, like it's different than the Shimmer Bar or the Shimmer um, Hand Cream. Something a little off on the Scentsy Soak to me. And I've heard other people say that, but, um, well, one other person I think commented on that on one of my videos. But it was nice and it was on clearance. So I, I think, you know, we, we got a good deal on it. My girls love Scentsy Soak. Okay, so I've been trying to use some testers in my bathroom. Um, as I, you know, pop them in there for a day or two. And right now I'm doing the spring summer ones. For the most part, I'm able to do two testers in there, um, depending on the scent, how long it's been around in the catalog. So I did two testers of Mahalo Coconut. And the reason I wanted to use this up is because it's supposed to be like a blue color. And my older tester from when it was first released, so like two seasons ago. This is gonna show. It was green. It had turned like a green color. So I thought, ooh, I better use that up. It did not um, affect the performance, but yeah, it was that green color. This is a really nice scent. Again, it's a little on the lighter side, but it's, it's just so nice. When they had this in the Mother's Day collection last year in body, it was the best. It was like my favorite body cream ever. Really enjoy this scent. Um, like I said, I wouldn't put it in my open concept, but it's very pleasant. Southern Sweet Tea. Um, this isn't available anymore. I didn't like this. I don't like um, iced tea or sweet tea, I guess is what uh, you call it in the South, but um, I don't, I don't like it. And so I didn't like this, which was not a surprise to me. Lavender cotton. Um, I've never warmed this. I have never liked the smell of it on cold. And I didn't like the smell of it on warm. I love, love, love lavender. Absolutely love it. But this with the cotton. And I love cotton. It's like fresh laundry smells too. But the mixture of this just smells very like old lady to me. So mm -mm, I didn't like that. You would think I would with the, the just based on the description. But uh, no. Oh, I, I put two of those in the warmer. Two, um, two of these fit perfect in a mini warmer, like a glass mini warmer. Um, I did two uh, testers of lemon verbena. And you can see one of them was getting kind of icky too. This scent is, I don't think it's available anymore. I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, I don't know. It was just a nice standard citrus scent. It was nice, but nothing special. It did perform pretty well. Um, I did one tester of Squeeze the Day, and this was strong. This is what um, prompted me to buy a bar to try out. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I do have it. Uh, this is, it was really strong for just this amount of wax. And I think that would be a really nice one to do in the open concept, like on a cleaning day or something. Or, you know, if my husband cooks something stinky or something. I think that would be a good one. 
Um, three more testers and we'll be done here. Make waves. This was, so it was a scent of the month, like several years ago. And then it came out in the catalog for one season, um, a couple spring summers ago. And it's nice. I do like it for a fresh aquatic. It's nice, but it's, it's not that strong. So that was make waves. Um, I used one uh, tester of Mad for Melon. This was just all right. It's nice to use these because then you can decide if you want to buy a whole bar or not. And a lot of times people are like, what can I do with my testers? You can warm them. You totally can. Um, I've tried different methods of getting it out of here, um, such as freezing it and then just have freeze it and then just it'll pop out. But um, lately I've just been using like a butter knife. And then um, Tangerine Creamsicle. This is a good one. This was a new one last spring summer and I would repurchase this. I bought one bar last spring summer and I think I would repurchase it again. It's really nice. It's the tangerine, but you have that creaminess, like, like a creamsicle, like a fancy creamsicle is what this reminds me. It reminds me of, I always like in my head picture, like, um, people at a fancy country club eating this for dessert. I don't, I don't know why, but anyway, that is it. That is my ginormous thing of empties for, um, March of 2022. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I will try to be better about doing, um, these empties more often so that we're not here for an hour, but, um, Thank you so much. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.